Hello, and welcome to Regulatory Wrap of the Year. Because you've all been so good and have made it onto the Compliance Nice list, today Jenny and I are joining forces to deliver a festive treat. Some Christmas wrapping to wrap up the things we've seen this year and what we're likely to see next year. Indeed we are, and what a year it's been. Let's start with off-channel comms. Having seen record-breaking fines for failures in 2022, this year saw continuing fallout. In the first half of the year, a number of firms announced they were docking the bonuses of employees who didn't adhere to communication policies. Some opted for channel bans, which quickly showed themselves to be ineffective. In April, we saw a firm fined for using an iMessage blocker that failed. Despite these attempts to root out the problem, we've seen even more fines for off-channel comms, with some of the strictest regulatory messaging yet. This regulatory focus has started to move across the pond to the UK too. In April, the PRA censured a firm that failed to preserve WhatsApp messages. To the surprise of many, the Competition and Markets Authority soon followed suit, and the UK's energy regulator, Ofgem, issued a £5.4 million fine to a firm who failed to capture traders' WhatsApp messages. Away from record-keeping failures, Regulators, particularly in the US, have continued to issue fines for wrongdoing, with the SEC obtaining orders for nearly $5 billion in financial remedies over the last fiscal year. As well as regulatory fines, we've seen some significant rule changes. In May 2023, Record-Keeping Rule 17A4 came into force. The FCA's new consumer duty was implemented soon after. Back in the US, the DOJ amended its ECCP, so the use of personal devices is no longer just an issue for financial services, but all corporates. And the SEC's marketing rule has also started to make waves, with over $1 million issued in fines so far. All of this, alongside AI, individual accountability, and increased focus on conduct and culture, much like Christmas dinner, it looks like compliance teams have got a lot on their plate, Rob. They absolutely have. And that looks set to continue in 2024. On the topic of culture, conduct risk looks like it'll be a big topic next year. 2023 saw the likes of Crispin Odi, BP's Bernard Looney, politicians and TV presenters all called out for serious conduct issues. Next year, we'll probably see more focus on relationships and employee behaviour, and I think senior executives will be under the microscope like never before. The FCA has said it will be prioritising non-financial misconduct, and we'll see increased due diligence requirements both in the UK and US. This means monitoring employee behaviour, especially through their communications, is going to be a key compliance focus. Firms also need to be reassessing the channels they capture too. Social will be important. LinkedIn looks to be the so far unearthed compliance risk, and it's rumoured that voice will be the next port of call for the SEC as part of that sweep. The safest bet is probably to find a compliance solution that can capture all channels as they evolve. Of course, next year we're going into an election year which could have serious repercussions for regulators. In the US, a Trump victory could mean we see an end of tightening regulations for banks. Capital requirements, debt financing and general prudential would likely be reduced and an all-round easier regulatory environment is also predicted though some other challenges may emerge instead. In the UK, polls are suggesting a Labour win if the election is held in September 2024. And while an immediate focus of regulatory change seems unlikely, a review of regulatory supervision responsibilities may be a longer term consideration to help ease stretched resourcing challenges across consumer and wholesale agendas. Finally, it would be remiss not to mention artificial intelligence. AI travelled a rocky road in 2023 with generative AI being launched and then banned by some firms and now slowly being reintroduced. I think firms are going to have to navigate their use of AI between profit ambitions, regulatory compliance and explainability in 2024. And that's not to mention continued sanctions, crypto, operational resilience and worries about spying by governments across the globe. A veritable advent calendar's worth of adversity. Absolutely, a lot to contend with, but really positive for the compliance community. So before we go and enjoy the festivities, Rob and I just wanted to say, on behalf of Global Relay, a huge thank you to everyone who has supported us this year. We hope you have a well-deserved break 
and we'll see you next year for more Regulatory Wrap.